Hello there, all folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of Roll News and Analysis. Today, we're diving into the world of revelations, contradictions, where Meghan Markle's latest controversy has taken the global stage by storm. Buckle up, because... What we're about to discuss might rock your seats upside down, but stop right there before we disclose the juicy details, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. Believe me, what's coming up next is worth waiting for. So remember that iconic Oprah interview? Yet the one where Meghan Markle shared her experiences and opened up about her struggles. Guess what? As soon as those allegations hit the airwaves, a wave of skepticism surged right behind them. It didn't take long for voices to rise against Meghan's claims of racism. The New York Post ever the provocateur dropped a column titled Meghan Markle's interview was full of bull and across the pond British TV host didn't hold back. They straight up called her out saying she lied about self-destructive thoughts and dubbed her interview as a two-hour thrashathon of the royal family. But that's not all. Digging deeper we find a 2015 essay by Meghan herself in Ella magazine. In it, she describes navigating close-minded, recalling a college dorm mate who questioned her family dynamics. While the familiar smile meets awkwardness, Megan revealed that her mum is black and her dad is white. The friend's response, oh, well, that makes sense. Yeah, let that sink in. And then there's the revelation from Megan's high school teacher, Christine Knudsen. She spilled the beans about Megan introducing herself as Southern Italian. Wait, what? Yep, the same Megan who claims to have suffered with racism apparently used to identify as Southern Italian to her friends. Christine from Immaculate Heart High School recalled Megan as bright and confident with a father who'd rock up in overalls to help out with the school activities. And speaking of Megan's dad, Christine praised him as a genuinely good, loving man who was proud to of his daughter. But here's the kicker. Some friends chimed in too, stating that Megan was never bullied at school and didn't face the racial adversity she spoke about. They pointed out her efforts to pass as white, her cosmetic choices, her predominantly white social circle, and her claim of Southern Italian heritage. So what's the real deal? Are Megan's claims just that? Claims? Are there inconsistencies in her narrative that we've all missed? Friends and teachers seem to remember a different Megan than the one who took the world stage. And let's not forget the curious case of the estranged relatives, the one she shoudly and proudly mentioned being brought up in a Netflix documentary. Well, they seem to be left in the shadows while Megan flaunts her connection to her mother strategically when it suits her image. So what do you guys think about Megan's story being more complex than it seems? Is there a hidden agenda at play? Share your thoughts and let us know what you think. Until next time, thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon for more Royal News and Analysis.